I have lived in Atlanta for almost a year now without doing a lot of the Atlanta things. So welcome to this new series, I guess you can call it, on the channel where I'm really just gonna be around Atlanta, seeing what life is like around Atlanta, showing you Atlanta because lots of times, and I kind of realized this recently, my vlogs could take place anywhere, but I live in such a cool city with such cool history, culture, food, restaurants, people, and so I just really want to kind of get a piece of that. And so what we're starting with today is I'm going to Zoo Atlanta. It's the zoo in the middle of Atlanta. And as we're there, I'll learn more about like the history and the animals and all of that. But another thing that's kind of nerve wracking, I guess, about this new series is that I'm doing everything entirely myself. So I'm here at the zoo by myself. It is spring break for a lot of school districts around Atlanta. So there might be a lot of kids. I'm not really for sure. It is a gloomy day. It kind of was drizzling earlier, but it's supposed to go away. And so fingers crossed that we get to see some cool animals. I've heard really good things about the zoo. Personally, I was able to get a student ticket. It was like $4 off. Maybe it was like 10% or so off for being a student. So that felt kind of good. My entry time is nine, but I can get in anytime between nine and 9.30. So it's really early in the day, to be honest. And so I'm hoping to kind of just get in there, wander my little way about, and that's our Atlanta activity number one. Papa. Try to get it right, might get a couple wrong. I just double back, and then I move along. I might hit a left, then I keep it going. I'ma catch my breath, keep it going till the morning. Put in the work, I made it look easy. Been in the dirt, think it's my season. What is he doing? I got my reasons. I got my reasons. I know you're with me, Jesus. I know you're with me, Jesus. I know I'm never alone. Come be a witness, Jesus. I know you're with me, Jesus. I know you're with me, Jesus. I know I'm never alone. Come be a witness, Jesus. Try to get it right, might get a couple wrong. I just double back, then I move along. I might hit a left, then I keep it going. I'ma catch my breath, keep it going till the morning. I put pressure on myself like I slept wrong. Hard to be patient when you feel like you slept on. Hard to be humble when you feel like you stepped on. Hard to be real when everybody wanna sit with fakes like press on. Still I press on. Drag the beat like RuPaul. Take a deep breath. Who's <sighs> No time for games to the hoopla. I'ma stick to my name like Kunta. It don't come easily. I ain't no deity. There ain't no fear in me. I give all my beef to God. There won't be no steering me. I don't mean to judge, but I don't think they hear me. My price went up, my stock been up Fresh fade, might hit the town, go flicker Down from my dog's long way, no quitter And I ain't going in unless I'm with my Dreaming of some sunshine Dreaming of some sunshine Dreaming of some sunshine Dreaming of some sunshine Okay, as you can see, it was really humid, so my hair just kept on growing <laughs> as the time went on. I spent about an hour and 20 minutes there, though, and I feel like that was a blast. I feel like it was awesome. Like I said, I went pretty close to opening, and I think some of the animals were more active in the morning. I don't know if I've ever been to the zoo quite that early. I think I have before, maybe, a couple of times. St. Louis Zoo, which is closer to where I grew up, was free, so we would just go kind of all the time. But this was a really cool zoo. They have pandas, which is, I don't know, awesome. They had a mom and dad and two twin sisters. They said the twin sisters were were five and the mom and the dad were 24 so a few pandas I just like tigers lions while we were in the little snake reptile area I got adopted by a kid <laughs> he just kept looking in the different there's a squirrel digging right in front of me and that's why I keep looking over there he just kept looking in the different like snake habitats and everything he'd be like do you see it can you find it and then we would find the snake together and he'd be like oh I hate snakes and then we go to the next one and we do the exact same thing over and over again but it was fun I mean obviously like I was by myself but that just meant that I could spend however long I 
I wanted to at each animal. Elephants, I don't know if I mentioned them yet. Giant otters, I don't think I've ever seen a giant otter before in my life. But it was cool too because there's signs all over about like what Zoo Atlanta does around the world and like different research they're a part of. And so I did like seeing that. There were alpacas too in the children's zoo. It really was, I feel like, a good experience. It's like my morning walk except cooler and more Atlanta-y, right? Next on our agenda is we're gonna go to Oakland Cemetery, which I know sounds kind of funny. I keep saying that to people and they're like, why? Why are you going to a cemetery? But really, Oakland Cemetery is, I forget if it's 46 or 64 acres, but it's something like that. And it was the first public park in Atlanta and now there's over 70,000 people buried there, but they still, it's just a lot of green space. They're um, open for picnics and there's a few like notable people who have tombstones there and everything. And so I don't know how long I'll be there, but I figure I'll just kind of walk around and see. I do like, if you can't tell, just kind of knowing like the history of things and all. And cemeteries are, I don't know interesting like it is cool i feel like to see and like have space for the people who are buried there obviously they can be a little spooky sometimes especially on this gloomy day but i think it'll be cool to just kind of walk around i don't think i'll talk much while there i mean i guess i didn't at the zoo either but i'll just see like what seems appropriate to film so you can kind of get a vibe for it and i am kind of excited just because it is a historical site So it's saying that this part here was originally where slaves were buried in 1852 was the first one and it was a 14 year old boy named John. Um, but then in 1866, they were running out of burial space in the cemetery and so they moved anyone that was buried in what they called Slave Square over to African American burial grounds, which are over further that way. And then people were reburied in Slave Square, as it's called, where the slaves were originally buried. There's a lot of different sections of this cemetery when I'm learning, and so a lot of it is segregated because a lot of it was buried 150, 100 years ago. And so they have the slave square, but then they also have the African American burial grounds. They have Confederate memorial grounds, and then they also have a section for Jewish people. It's a really pretty park, but I'll keep walking around. So now we're in the African American section of the cemetery, the like current one, the one they weren't moved out of, and it says that the number of headstones there are really isn't proportionate to the number of people that they believe rest here, and that a lot of grave markers are things such as trees or plants or valleys, it's much more natural headstones and such, and that lots of them originally when they were buried were wooden headstones that just haven't you know, survived the test of time. And so like behind me, there's a whole big open section, but it all is still part of the cemetery. You just can't necessarily see, unless you knew where you were looking, the people that are buried here. So this is the Confederate Memorial Ground, and it says that there are 6,900 soldiers are housed here, but only 3,900 of them are known because they died in hospitals, whereas the other 3,000 were just transported here after being found passed away. This was the only section of the cemetery where African Americans could buy burial space. 
before that time, African Americans were buried in an area of Oakland called Slave Square. The cemetery expanded around Slave Square as more acres were purchased to handle the increasing number of burials. Even so, by the 1870s, Oakland was filling up and more burial spaces were needed. The city council ordered that the remains of the African Americans buried in Slave Square were to be removed and reburied in the colored pauper ground. The old grave spaces in Slave Square were replotted and resold to white. Cemetery records list over 12,000 African Americans who have been buried at Oakland since its founding. Racial segregation at Oakland continued until 1963 when the city of Atlanta passed an ordinance banning the segregation of public accommodation. So this is discussing how you can tell that in the times of segregation like this, whenever African Americans could only buy plots of land from this section, that white people would make the argument that it was separate but equal. And just even in the cemetery, so not even in life, but even in death, the sections just were not equal. They say that, I mean, I guess I wouldn't really know what prime cemetery grounds are, but the sloping grounds of this section, you can kind of see that it's getting lower as you look further out was a lot less optimal because it floods a whole lot and so that is not good for the preservation of tombstones of headstones of any of that and so talking about how until 1963 whenever this was the only place that african americans could buy pot it was separate and just very much not equal even afterlife even in death I'm really glad I went here. I know it's not the like typical Atlanta activity, have a fun day in Atlanta activity, but I just think it's really cool because so many people obviously lived in this city before me. I've literally been here one year, not even yet, like 11 months. So many people lived here before me and so many people live here after me, but it's just cool to kind of walk around and see the pieces that I can of the people who have been here before me. And not only that, it's a beautiful green area, like big green space. You would have no idea how close I am to downtown Atlanta right now. Um, small streets, like brick sidewalks, all of that. It's old and they've preserved it which is good as well I mean it's the cemetery the drizzle started to turn a little bit more into a rain which is why I came back but like I said not your typical Atlanta activity I don't think but if you like history at all or just honestly super peaceful walk I did get random goosebumps just a couple times but it just was really interesting seeing and remembering I guess the people who like their families spent time and money getting these headstones and these statues and these towers and so many of the people said like our mother our father our brother our sister or whoever it was and you can see the different quotes and bible verses they pick for their tombstones and it's just really cool i think to hold space for that in the hustle and bustle of the city and what it's become today because these people were here first and some of them lived and died before 1900 even so like these people were here first and they for better or worse built the city that is here now and so i just think it's cool <laughs> maybe nerdy cool maybe like history buff cool but i do think that it was worth my time and like i said it's really peaceful lots of pretty flowers pretty trees and everything and lots of people were walking around there but just like very quietly kind of peacefully like people taking their dogs on walks etc I had kind of thought that for lunch I wanted to try slutty vegan it's a restaurant sorry for that just like quick change slutty vegan it's a restaurant that is all vegan but has like hamburgers fries like southern food but it's all vegan however it doesn't open for about 45 more minutes and it's just around the corner from me right now and so I'm not gonna wait that long so I think what I will do I hadn't really planned this for today's Atlanta vlog but I guess little Atlanta diary twist we're gonna go to Pont City Market and see what we can find there for lunch. We'll be able to find a lot there for lunch. We might have like five lunches, but very excited.
I do wish that it were a nicer day outside so I could have shown you like downtown and the skyline. There's a really cool bridge that gives a really good view of downtown, but I guess it'll just have to be for another day for another Atlanta Diaries video since today definitely was gloomy for sure. At Ponce, I went to Sweet Green, which is the first time I've ever been there. And honestly, I get the hype. It was really good. I had their harvest bowl, I believe it was called. And so it had like rice, greens, chicken, goat cheese, apples, sweet potatoes, I think. And it was really good. And then I went and it actually wasn't in Ponce. So Ponce City Market is like a marketplace food hall type deal. It's what malls wish they were. And so Sweet Greens was actually kind of outside. Like I parked and had to walk outside, find it, and then came back in to eat it, went up to the second floor. And then there was 11 TLC, which is like a tea place, I think is what they are, but it's like superfoods tea. And I actually looked really closely into it before going because there are some tea shops that are MLMs in disguise. Looks like this one is not. It looks like it's just really <laughs> teas with cool ingredients. And so I really wasn't sure what I wanted to get. I know some of theirs are like colorful and pretty and I really just wasn't sure. And so the person asked me who was like taking my order and I was like, I have no idea. So she gave me a sample of a like hazelnut chai tea that they were trying out and it was good. So that's what I ended up getting. I finished it now. <laughs> But then they also had soft serve and so I had vegan matcha soft serve, which was delicious Like so good. So very good overall I know I said this in the beginning But the goal with these videos is just honestly for me even to just get out around town more because like I said I've been living here for 11 months a little bit over going on a year and just haven't done a lot of the Atlanta things For example Pont City Market I went to before I moved here But I haven't been to since I moved here and then like the zoo obviously I've never been to before cemetery I've never been to before and so I'm just getting out and around but then at the same time time get to show a little bit more of the city that is really cool that I really love and so I have some plans of future places I want to go and things I want to show you specifically about Atlanta and our little I don't know what I'm going to call them yet Atlanta Diaries is that, is that cheesy <laughs> but if there's anywhere that you know of that you would specifically like to see obviously let me know very open to suggestions this day also if you subscribe to my channel you know I'm big on taking self-care days and everything in this day honestly I didn't even think was going to be like a self-care rejuvenate day but it really was. I think I was a little bit nervous going in because I was going all over by myself and sometimes, especially as a female, that can be nerve-wracking, but obviously it was all okay. To be honest, I didn't say this when we were still sitting there, to be honest, whenever I had parked for the cemetery, whenever I was coming back to my car, there was a woman that was standing like outside this window, like outside the driver's door, just looking inside my car and then she saw that I was walking back over to it and so she just like turned around and walked the other direction. Don't know what that was, but nothing happened. I didn't get broken into or anything, so I'll take those wins as they come but then also this is actually the first time that I've taken this camera like out in public usually I very much vlog in the safety and comfort of my own home and obviously I didn't do too much I think you could probably tell like at the zoo I just like wasn't comfortable like flipping the camera around to myself and talking at the cemetery there weren't too many people around so that was the first time that I've ever like vlogged in public in case you didn't know that it was a monumental deal <laughs> but it was a big deal I appreciate you for watching let me know if you've ever been to Atlanta if you want to go to Atlanta there's just so much here and so much culture and history and everything and so I hope in these videos I can just start to give you the teeniest little picture I know I can't get everything, but teeniest little picture of how cool the city is. I hope your day has a lot of small reasons to smile in it, and I'll see you next time.